Good morning, everyone. Morning. Morning, Chair. You can hear me, right? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay. I just say good morning just to make sure whether you guys can hear me or not. Okay, so please reply me back if you hear me. Okay, so for the ones who are okay with the Wi-Fi connection and electricity, please turn your camera on. <clears throat> Thank you, Nathan. Thanks, Samia. Okay, so shall we stand up? <clears throat> so I think we have to continue the exercises from what book, right? Unit 12. We haven't finished it yet, right? And I think we have finished the letter writing in the tree, right? Yes. Yeah, so for number four, it's really easy. So I want to skip that. For five, two, that is also easy. So I'm going to skip that one. And this one, so we'll just do number two from page number 74, 75. <clears throat> so what is number two? Page 74. And you can see the picture here, 75. Look at the pictures of the TV studio where last minute preparation for Junior Chef of the Year are being made. It's used and now from a both date and, and above from both B to describe what is happening. So you can use um, the words from column A and column B to make sense of what is happening in the picture, okay? So which pattern do you have to use? Just by looking at the example sentences. The president is being made up, the water jack is being filled. So what is its pattern? Present continuous passive. Yes, right there, many places. So try to um, fill up three up to eight. Okay? That's why I'm looking at this picture.
So have you finished? Yes. Okay, so the presenter and the moderator has been done as an example, right? So how about the, the second one, the floor? The floor is, the being, floor is being clean. The floor, the floor is, is being, being clean. clean, yes, correct. And how about the microphones? The microphones the being are tested. being tested. The microphones are being tested, right? Yes, correct. And how about one of the ovens? One, one of the, the oven is being repaired. Is being repaired. It's being repaired, yes, correct. Yeah. The ingredients? The ingredients are being prepared. Yeah, yes, the ingredients are being prepared. Yes, correct. The presenter's script? The presenter's script is being typed. It's being typed, yes, correct. And the program title? The program title is being corrected. It's being corrected. So has everyone got the answer for number two? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we have finished uh, all the exercises from unit 12, right? From console and from Marble. So is there any question for unit 12? No more question, right? Okay, so let's move to console. Console unit 14. Page one one zero. Okay, so are you guys ready? Yes, I guess. Okay, so we'll talk about cultures and customs in this unit. So what is in a name? So we'll discuss about the name first here. So which are the most popular names for people of your age? So can you think of any names that are really popular these days of your age? What will be the popular name here? Can you think of any idea? You mean like naming for my example, like Cindy or something like that? Is that me? Yeah, the popular name. The name think, that most of the people use, that is the popular name. I think Emily, because I have lots of friends named with Emily. Okay, Emily. Harry. Harry, yeah, yeah. Harry. Harry, okay. Harry Kevin, yeah. How about the name in our language? From King. 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 Okay. And? So Noe. 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 Yes. Uh, maybe I said you were saying something. What is that? Yeti. 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 Also, in Chinese, I have lots of friends with the name. And Chami, okay, Chami, right? Gao yes, Mie it's also popular. Gao Mie, okay, Gao Mie Du. Like Gao Jie Jin, Jie Jin or something like that. Jie Jin, okay. How about the others? Can you think of any names that are really popular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like either of our concerts in like Gao Ken or something like that. That's also like really popular in in Gao Ken. Hey, Tao, hey, okay, yes, there are so many hey in our class, right? I hate that, so hey, then. Hey, Tao. There are so many things, right? Mm -hmm. And also Duray. Duray. Ah, yes. Duray. Okay. Hey, Duray. Duray means tired, of course. <clears throat> so, how about the baby names? So, these are the names that are really popular of your age, right? So, how about the baby names nowadays? What are the most popular names? Do you have any idea? Or do you know any oh, of the names like, of the babies? Hmm? We call the baby like Boo. Boo. Uh, like. Uh, okay, that would be like kind of like nickname, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So how about the others? Can you think of any uh, popular name for the baby today? And one more. For well, baby names, we give like the devil word for example, like for Alice, his name is Ugu or like the like that devil word. We give like that. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So you can see the popular names here, right? So either they, these are like British names, right? So the, the popular name for the boy is like Jack, Jacob, Oliver, Noah, Mohammed. Thomas, even James, so that's Harry, so that will be the popular name for the boys, right? And you can also see the name of the girls, which are really popular, like Isabella, like um, Lily, Emily, Olivia, like that, so. So you can see the popular name here. So let's move to, did you know that? And that Japanese name, uh, Japanese name, Akira means bright and intelligent. So for some of the name, it has like meanings, right? So the Arabic name, Amr means like prince. So does your name have a meaning? What is that? So is there anyone who got a meaning in their name here? No. No? How about Nia Yitan? Do you have any special meaning for your name? I, I think there is some meaning in your name, right? Like Nia Yitan, right? Um, I don't know. I've always been like really chill. That's fine. <laughs> really chill. Okay. So I think like uh, yeah, HN. So HN means like kind of like peaceful or something like that. Right? So you have like definite meaning in your name like that, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what about I? We can't like yeah, like, HN. We can be like okay. It's kind of like peacefulness, right? You can sense that kind of. You can get that kind of sense like that, right? Okay. Uh, okay I got some. My name means mutual, mimiyeche, miet or from jewel and che from pain or temporary. Okay, so you also have a uh, definite meaning, right? Uh, sorry, mimiyeche. Okay, yes. got it. So how about the others? Do you have any special meaning in your name? It has special meaning, but I don't know. I have to ask my dad. Yeah, you, have, you should ask, ask your parents. How did you get your name like that, right? Okay, so how about the boys? Do you have any special meaning in your name? Nope. No, no one? Nope. No. How about La I, I think you have some meaning in your name. Rowan said that my name is definitely. Rowan said, hey, do we? Hey, do we? Ah, okay. Do we mean San, right? Okay, I see. And Aga, okay, I met Emma. Oh, I own the entire. Oh, yes, yes, of course, Aga, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so you get the name from the fortune teller, right? Okay. And Lami also said no, but you in your name, we can see like moon, right? Lami means moon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, so Aga, Basi, Mimiyeche, they got their, uh, the meaning in their name. Okay. Okay, so let's move on. So look at reading and speaking. Read about the following naming system and what do you think of them? Okay, so what we'll read this one. And uh what do you okay? I, I wanna skip this question. So we'll move we'll move to reading. Read the test again and then answer the question. So read the test and you have to answer all the two questions here. So what do you know now? So you will see the different naming system from different countries like Kenya, Nigeria, and Greece. So you have to read it and you have to find the answer for each of the questions.
still have your vintage. Guys, have you finished? Yes. Yes. Okay. How about the others? Have you finished? Yep. Yes. Yes. So tell me the answer for number one first. Find four reasons to explain why a particular name is chosen for a child. So what are the reasons there? Tell me. To describe the baby's appearance. Yes, to describe the baby's appearance. So that will be the first reason. And how about the second one? Um, the circumstances of their birth. That, yes, the circumstances of like according to the circumstances of their birth will be the second reason. And how about the third one? Express. To express, which is for the future. To express, which is for the future. Yes, correct. And how about the last one? Family tradition to give yes, the children. Um, this one, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, so sometimes they have to follow the tradition, right? So that would be like four reasons, right? So did you get all the answers for number one, everyone? Yes. yes. So how about number two? Demetrio is Greek and he has a brother, Antonis, and two sisters, Elena and Rebrina. And Demetrius, Andonis, Eleanor, and River each have a son. All four boys are called Georgios. And can you explain why? So why do they have the same name? Because of their tradition. Because, so okay, that is quite sure. So, okay, so that is because of their tradition. So is there anyone who got different answers with Indy? When they take their name after their paternal grandfather. Yes. Correct. That is why, right? Okay. So did you get all the answers for number two? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So let's move to speaking then. So let's have a discussion based on these questions. What can parents and answer these questions about the name in your country? So how much do you know about the naming system in our country? After going to fortune teller. <laughs> okay. So is there anything that you know about the naming system in our country for the babies? Um, they should name the first letter of the name according to the day they were born. Like, mm. I, E, O. According to so, the day, right? Day. Yes. Like yes. Monday born or Tuesday born or Wednesday born, like that, right? Mm -hmm. So they have to follow that pattern. So there is a naming pattern there, right? Okay, so let's discuss one number one question. What is a baby name? Okay, what is a baby name in our, in our country? When? 100 days after they were born. Yes, correct. And 100 days after they were born, right? So there is a kind of like Kimonja Mingala, right? Like that. Yeah. So how about number two? How is the name chosen? Okay, so I think we already discussed about that one, right? So some of them get their name from the fortune teller, and some of them get their name from the monk sometimes, right? And sometimes their parents just give them the name, right? And according to the day, as we have already said, right? Like Monday born, Tuesday born, or Wednesday born, like that, right? So how about number three? Are there fashion and names? Give an example. So is there any fashion in our in the name system in our country? Can you think of any? Is there any fashion? Is there any name fashion here? I don't know. I don't know. For example, like, it's, it's like, uh, as many of them, so like, uh, as many more, like, I, I eat or something like that. So, so that's a kind of a like name fashion, right? So is there any fashion in our name system? Can you think of any more? You mean like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have. But I don't know. I, I only know like that's how to do that. That's born, right? Like yeah. That. Okay, so how about number four? What influences people when they choose a name for a child in our country? 
what influences do they have? Can you think of any? For example, the appearance, yes? For example, if, if the baby is kind of like a uh, like fair skin, you give uh, her name like Tutu or something like that, right? So yes, their appearance can influence their name to be Right, so is there any more reason? Oh uh, yes, by like according to the day of bed, for the moment that you say, and also like to establish for the future, and we just like that, I guess. So. Yeah, this, these uh, rules also work in our country. Yeah, also like tradition in country, right? Mm, yeah, traditional name. By the name so or by the name, like we also apply to level. our tradition. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we are still on it. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. Hello, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Almost nothing. Okay, almost nothing. If I see a bayale, oh, the poor boy, 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 Okay, so use of English particular clause the same thing or at the middle of the same thing. I'm going to say, 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 Present participle, past participle. Yes, present participle and past participle. Okay, what do you want? What do you want? You said, I don't want to see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. How can I understand by that phrase? I don't see it. I don't see it. What does that mean? See it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. It only happened in the past. I don't know. Present time, that's the time when she already come up. But that's what I don't see it. So, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. แต่เบ้ลุล้อเสร็จป่ะไอ้อปายตรงนี้นี่เลยปาสิอะลุเทยจาพาลุอ่ะเลยตีล่ะเค้าเนี่ยมาชี้เอกว่าท้องตะเน
use the best possible of the both in the both the community standards. So there are also the five standards. So what is number four? So have you finished, guys? Yep. Yeah, okay. Me have this in my office. Think I'm not. Oh, my gosh. Eh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, okay. Mo 還沒有變成型啊? I
skill, no? Line down, yeah, okay. Not so easy, yeah, line down, yeah. Ain't that too awkward. Oh, okay, it's some more. Okay, so tell me the answer for number uh, one. What is the answer for number one? For example, boy. Oh, guys. Boy. Born, yes. Guys born on Monday are called Kawaido or whatever, okay. And to popular name explain to children in the UK. What is that? Given. Given. Given, yes, correct. And how about three? What is the answer for number three? Serve. Serve. Serve to the all of sandwich. Yes, correct. And how about four? The description cruise. Taken. Taken, yes. Taken from Charles Taken. So a Christmas curry is used for someone who doesn't like any dinner money. Okay. So is there any screws in the class? She lying. She lying. Okay. So how about number five? The fabric denim. Denim. Yes. Used. Yes, correct. Also, but it's the class don't jump on it. Yep. Yes. Don't jump no? Don't jump at the time. Same as you kind of no. You kind of yeah lah. Yeah lah. Yes, yes, yeah, sure. Okay, yes, yeah, okay, okay. So, the terrible woman is the first thing I look into. Uh, 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 so we'll talk about the nickname. So a nickname in an informal name that your friends or family call it the word. Nickname comes from old English and uh, EKE, how to pronounce that one, whatever. Okay, so what is the nickname? You know that one, right? So do you have any nickname, guys? Nickname, Shina? No. Yes? No? Yes? yes? Lots of nickname. Lots of nickname. So can you share your nickname with no. the class? No. No. <laughs> no. Or can you share only with me? No. Eva. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. My friends call me stupid names. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you have the nickname, right? Maybe they give uh give, they are given by your family or they're given by the, your friend, right? And so you yeah. may have like nickname and you don't want to share with us, right? Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's move to listening. Listen to two people talking about their name and what is the difference in their attitude towards their nickname? Okay, so you have to listen to two people talking about their name. So you have to find out what is the difference in their attitude towards their nickname. Okay, so are you guys ready now? So listen to this and you only have to answer this question. Okay, we'll do the message later. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, Chair. Okay, Chair. Okay, Chair. So I'll play now. Track 23. What does your name say about you? We talked to people about their names, and this is what they told us. Hi, what's your name? My name's Thomas. Does everyone call you Thomas, or...? That's what my parents and everyone in my family calls me. Have you got a nickname? Well. I had one when I was about seven years old, but that was years ago. Fortunately, everyone has forgotten about it now. What was it? Are you going to tell us? It was Spider. Spider? Yes, because I was good at climbing. You know, climbing trees, climbing up the ropes in gym lessons, like Spider-Man. I can understand why you might want to be called Tom rather than Spider. Yes. In fact, someone called out Spider the other day in the middle of town. I just ignored them. Hello, what's your name? My name's Alison. Alison? 
That's a nice name. Are you called Ali for short? Yes, that's what my mum and dad call me. Do your friends call you Ali or Alison? Oh no, they never call me Alison. What do they call you? Well, they call me Tails. Tails? Why is that? Well, you see, when I was at primary school, there were a lot of girls in my year called Alison, so we all had a different nickname. Yes. Mine was Tails because my surname is Taylor. Do you spell that T A L E S like in stories? No. For some reason, my friends write T A I L S when they send me a card or a message. Don't ask me why. Do you mind people calling you Tails? No, I don't mind at all. When one of my friends calls me Alison, I think, who are they talking to? So, did you get the answer for number five? I missed five. Can you replay it again? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I'll play it again. Track twenty-three. What does your name say about you? We talked to people about their names, and this is what they told us. Hi, what's your name? My name's Thomas. Does everyone call you Thomas, or that's what my parents and everyone in my family calls me? Have you got a nickname? Well, I had one when I was about seven years old, but that was years ago. Fortunately, everyone has forgotten about it now. What was it? Are you going to tell us? It was spider. Spider? Yes, because I was good at climbing. You know, climbing trees, climbing up the ropes in gym lessons, like Spider-Man. I can understand why you might want to be called Tom rather than Spider. Yes. In fact, someone called out Spider the other day in the middle of town. I just ignored them. Hello. What's your name? My name's Alison. Alison, that's a nice name. Are you called Ali for short? Yes, that's what my mum and dad call me. Do your friends call you Ali or Alison? Oh no, they never call me Alison. What do they call you? Well, they call me Tails. Tails? Why's that? Well, you see, when I was at primary school, there were a lot of girls in my year called Alison. So we all had a different nickname. Yes. Mine was Tails because my surname is Taylor. Do you spell that T A L E S like in stories? No. For some reason, my friends write T A I L S when they send me a card or a message. Don't ask me why. Do you mind people calling you Tails? No, I don't mind at all. When one of my friends calls me Alison, I think, "Who are they talking to?" Okay, I hope this time you get the answer, right? So, what is their the difference in their attitude to what they are nicknamed? So, what is the attitude of the nickname for Thomas? A boy doesn't like his nickname, but girl doesn't yes. like his hard nickname. Ah, yes, that is correct. So, how about you guys? Did you get the answer for number five? Yes. yes. I don't like his nickname, right? But for Alison, she doesn't mind at all like that, right? Okay, so that would be the difference between the they are attitude towards their nickname. So let's move to number six. Listen again and complete the chart. So did you finish this one already? Yes. 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 How about the others? Okay. So yes. we'll, we'll discuss the answer right away. So. Name used at home for Thomas. What is that? Thomas Spider. That's Thomas, right? So how about his nickname? Spider. 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 What is the reason for his nickname? He climbs. Being good at climbing. Climbing. Climb. Yes, because he is really good at climbing, right? For example, like trees and a higher place. So yes, that is why his name is Spider. And how about Allison? What is the name used at home? Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, yes. How about her nickname? Hills. Hills. And how do you spell that? P-A-I-S. P-A-I-S. So what's the reason for the nickname? 
because in her uh, primary school, you know, like there was name, my name was Elephant, that's why like they give me name. Mm -hmm. And I think for the same reason, her name is like T E I L K. Okay, so how about the others? What have you got? Her surname, her surname is, Taylor. is Taylor. So Han's nickname comes from her surname, Taylor, right? That's Taylor. Yes, correct. So did you get all the answers for number six, everyone? Yes. 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 Okay, then let's move on to number seven. So this time you have to um, maybe there is an inconsistency in what Donna said about what is called and in what else is said about what she is called. What are they? Listen again if you need to. So do you need to listen it again? Hmm? Do I need yes. to play again? Yes, okay, so I'll play again. So this time you have to pay attention to the inconsistency facts, right? In their conversation, both of for Thomas and for Alison too. Track 23. What does your name say about you? We talked to people about their names and this is what they told us. Hi, what's your name? My name's Thomas. Does everyone call you Thomas or...? That's what my parents and everyone in my family calls me. Have you got a nickname? Well, I had one when I was about seven years old, but that was years ago. Fortunately, everyone has forgotten about it now. What was it? Are you going to tell us? It was Spider. Spider? Yes, because I was good at climbing. You know, climbing trees, climbing up the ropes in gym lessons, like Spider-Man. I can understand why you might want to be called Tom rather than Spider. Yes. In fact, someone called out Spider the other day in the middle of town. I just ignored them. Hello. What's your name? My name's Alison. Alison? That's a nice name. Are you called Ally for short? Yes, that's what my mum and dad call me. Do your friends call you Ally or Alison? Oh no, they never call me Alison. What do they call you? Well, they call me Tails. Tails? Why's that? Well, you see, when I was at primary school, there were a lot of girls in my year called Alison. So we all had a different nickname. Yes. Mine was Tails because my surname is Taylor. Do you spell that T-A-L-E-S like in stories? No. For some reason, my friends write T-A-I-L-S when they send me a card or a message. Don't ask me why. Do you mind people calling you Tails? No, I don't mind at all. When one of my friends calls me Alison, I think, who are they talking to? So, did you get the answer for number seven? Five? Did you get the answer? Not sure. Not sure. Uh, how about the others? Yes or no? Or do I need to uh, play again? Not really. Not really? Okay, so tell me the answer. What is the inconsistency for Thomas? Don't tell with his nickname. I'm waiting for the answer, guys. What is the incons inconsistency for Thomas? Hello. Yes. So, do I need to play again? Tap we more lula, damo, tea yaralam yaralan. Follow me on my letter. Uh, oh, could you please open it again? Okay, great. Thank you for answering that. Track 23. What does your name say about you? We talked to people about their names, and this is what they told us. 
Hi, what's your name? My name's Thomas. Does everyone call you Thomas, or...? That's what my parents and everyone in my family calls me. Have you got a nickname? Well, I had one when I was about seven years old, but that was years ago. Fortunately, everyone has forgotten about it now. What was it? Are you going to tell us? It was Spider. Spider? Yes, because I was good at climbing. You know, climbing trees, climbing up the ropes in gym lessons, like Spider-Man. I can understand why you might want to be called Tom rather than Spider. Yes. In fact, someone called out Spider the other day in the middle of town. I just ignored them. Okay, so did you get the answer for Thomas first? Yes. Yeah, Thomas. Okay, so what is the answer then? Um, he used to be good at climbing, not now, mm -hmm. so that shouldn't be his name anymore. Uh, okay, okay. So how about the others? What is your answer? Um, I think he said everyone's forgotten his name, but he also said someone called Spider days ago. Yes, correct. So that is the answer, right? So he said, everyone forgot about that. It's, it's like it's years ago, right? So it's a nickname when he was seven years old. But uh, he, he also said that uh, someone called out, right? As spiders in the, uh, the other day in the middle of the town like that, right? So that is the inconsistency in his conversation. So we got it? Yes. Yes, okay, great. So I'll continue playing for us. Hello. What's your name? My name's Alison. Alison? That's a nice name. Are you called Ali for short? Yes, that's what my mum and dad call me. Do your friends call you Ali or Alison? Oh no, they never call me Alison. What do they call you? Well, they call me Tails. Tails? Why's that? Well, you see, when I was at primary school, there were a lot of girls in my year called Alison. So we all had a different nickname. Yes. Mine was Tails because my surname is Taylor. Do you spell that T-A-L-E-S, like in stories? No. For some reason, my friends write T-A-I-L-S when they send me a card or a message. Don't ask me why. Do you mind people calling you Tails? No, I don't mind at all. When one of my friends calls me Alison, I think, who are they talking to? Okay, so did you get the answer for Alison? Yes. Yes, okay, so tell me what is that. Um, she says her friends never call her Alison, but she also said, uh, one friend called her Alison. And okay, so that is what we were saying. So, how about the others? What have you got? So, remind me, Yeah, okay, yeah, I So what is your answer? Not so yeah, you're gonna be asking. Okay, so either someone draw and Minyate share the same answer. So is there any different answer with them? Different answer, yeah, which line? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh do it. Okay, absolutely. So I think I have to answer, right? For for Yeah. Okay. So she said that her, name, uh, her nickname comes from her surname, right? But she also mentioned that there must be some reason that her, her friend saw her name like T-A-I-L, right? So there is the real reason uh, behind her nickname and she didn't mention that. So actually her name doesn't come from her surname. So that is the inconsistency for Alison concerned with her nickname. So did you get the answer? 
Yes. Yes, okay. Is there any problem with here? With me or in the class? Is there any problem? No. no. Because no. you guys are not replying me back. And I I I don't know what do I have to yeah, do. Yeah, I reply. Uh so is there any problem with me? No. 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 Actually, if you have problem, you can be really honest with me. So if you have problem, just tell me, okay? Okay, yeah. we don't have one. Uh, okay, great then. So please answer me back, okay? Okay. If you get the answer, okay, you got the answer, yes. If you didn't get the answer, we didn't get anything like that. You can answer me like that. So I, I know, how, do I have to play again or do I have to explain? Okay, even one yes. more time that I, I, I know what to do. So please look on me, okay? So let's continue then. So did you get the answer for number seven? Yep. Yes. Yes. So for speaking pause, walk in small group, answer this question. Do you want your name? What are your, uh, you call at home and what your friends I think I want to skip this one. So what do number nine? for writing. Write a program about names in your country for English students who are coming on a school exchange. So you have to explain about the naming system in our country to someone who is not from our country. So you have to, uh, based on these three facts, and you have to write a short paragraph. So the first one is traditionally how are names chosen for children. And the second one is what are the most popular names for boys and girls and what do they mean? And our nickname used in families or among friends. So based on these three, you have to write a short paragraph about many systems in our country. I think we already brainstormed some of the ideas for that, right? So can you write a short paragraph in the chat? Yes. yes. Okay, so write a short paragraph and then send it to me. So I'll give you like 10 minutes. So is that enough? Yeah, 15, yeah, 15, 15. 15, okay, 15. Okay. So send me in the chat. Three. Okay. Uh, just to me, not to anyone. Yeah, we need to send like. Uh, if you want to have a fiber, it's also okay. Uh, okay. Oh, Samuel, you have to write a short paragraph based on these three sets, and you have to send that to me in the chat or in fiber. So is that clear to me? Uh, okay.
Uh, okay, current case is it? Okay, current account. Okay, current data. Okay, can I come on here? Okay, can I tell it? I'm going to get some of the other ones. Okay.
Okay, Karen Pavel. I send you. Ah, yes. Uh, Linga, right? Yep, yep. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll... Okay, bye 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 bye. Okay, look at And uh, I have it back. <clears throat> Okay, we get to correct. Okay, currently, huh? Okay, currently, huh? Okay, Carolina. Okay, can I talk to you? Is there anyone who is still sending me the message? Is there anyone? Yes, Jim. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'll wait. I'll do it.
Uh, correct the rate, correct uh, delta nine. Mm. Uh, okay, for the moment. So, is there anyone who is still sending me the uh, messages? Is there anyone? Okay. So, I'm gonna stop right here for today. So, is there any question for the lesson? Nope. No. Okay. No. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. My friend called me today, and she is going to send her. Okay. Okay. My friend called me. Send send hey, what? What is send hey? Yeah. Send send hey, right? Yes, yes. My friend's called send hey. Not hey send, it's send hey, right? Yes, yes. Okay. The idea is that email send will call you. Email send. Okay. That is kind of funny. So this this nickname are you find your friend, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Correct, hey send. Okay, yes. Okay. So bye bye, bye bye for today. Yes, we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.